Hey everyone and welcome to VFX by once again. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can create smoke trails inside Nuke by using particle system. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, so let's jump to screen and let's start with scratch. So here what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply, uh, if you haven't gone through the particle system of Nuke, I will recommend you to follow my one of video, which I have created a long back where I have discussed each and every primary detail of particle system inside Nuke. So I'll recommend that to uh, follow that video first. And uh, this video will be a little advanced. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a node called uh, Sphere. So sphere will be the place from where we want to emit our particle system. So in sphere, I'm not going to change any options because uh, we'll change it later. After that, I'm going to take uh, another node called particle emitter, the shape of particle, the uh, velocity of particle, each and everything will be decided with particle emitter and uh, from where particle should emit. So I'm going to connect my emitter to my sphere so as you can see over here my particle immediately started to emit over here so here i am going to uh, put one so that there won't be any confusion so here i have my particles emitting from sphere so in this case particle is emitting from point so i'm going in particle system and i'm, I'm going to change it to face so particle now particle will emit from the face of the sphere right after that what i'm going to do i'm going to change the emission rate so uh, initially i'm going to put 150 might be later on we'll change it as as per our requirement and before starting anything i'm going to change my setting to hd 120 and might be uh, frame range to 200 you can change it as per your requirement as you can see particles are emitting from a, a surface and it's dying on the same frame so how we can change it over here we have max life is 10 so might be i'm going to do it uh, 50 so particle will last till 50th frame from their birth and i want some variation in particles like some particles are dying on 40 number frame, some particle are dying on 60 number frame and so on and so forth. So for that, I need to change max life range might be I can give the 10. So some particle will die, die on 40, some particle last long till 60 or 50. So that's the way how we can uh, create some variation in our lifespan. Over here, what I want, I don't want any kind of uh, velocity over here because particle are emitting from face and just uh, going in the particular direction. So what I want to do, I want to kill the velocity over here. So I'm going to make my velocity zero as I'm going to make my velocity zero. What will happen? Each and every particle will take birth and that will be at the same place, right? After that, what I can do, I want my smoke to rise upwards, right? So I'm going to take a node called uh, direction might be particle direction force. So I'm going to connect that particle direction force over here and in particle direction force might be I can put my strength to one and particle will start going upwards until they are dying, right? So I don't want that uh, might be speed is too fast. So I can might be lower down to 0.5. It's too fast 0.05. Might be it will work later on. We'll change it if uh, it requires. So after a directional force, I'm going to take another node called turbulence because in smoke particles, there is a turbulence and based on directional force, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, strength put strength like 0 0.05 in X axis, 0 0.05 in Y axis and 0 0.05 in Z axis. So I can see I am getting good amount of turbulence, but what I want, I want more turbulence. So might be I can type seven or might be I can type uh, 0.3 and 0.7 as well something like that later on if required we'll change it after that what i want as you can see over here my particle don't have any kind of texture to make a dense fog what we need or fog or smoke you can say we must apply some sort of texture over here for texture what i have i created few texture on photoshop as you can see over here few smoke patterns it's pretty easy i have a brush and i can take a new uh, layer and just i can click once might be i need to change the color 
something like that and i have my smoke uh, pattern so i created few variations and what i'm going to do i'm going to bring them inside my nuke okay so i have my both the patterns over here and as you can see i have one and i have two patterns over here so i'm going to connect my particle to my this thing pattern so what will happen as you can see each and every particle is going to have the same texture but we have issue of alpha so how we can fix it just take a shuffle node and in shuffle node might be i can put any color to alpha and that will be good for me now you can say my particles are emitting but it's too small in size so what i can do i can go to particle emitter and might be i can change the size to 5 and as you can see it's getting whiter and whiter why it's happening because each and every particles uh, blends together as well to fix it what we can do there are multiple ways to do this so i am going to take a node called uh, blend material or blend material might be yeah blend mat so i'm going to connect that blend mat over here and rather than using input fragments i'm going to do might be modulate so as i'm going to do modulate as you can see there is no blending or plus kind of blending is there and now we are having a good amount of uh, smoke particle emitter i can scale it more might be i can scale it to 15 or 15 would be bigger size and might be i can give a range to 10 so or 5 might be so what will happen there will be some variation in size as well so now i am going to play my uh, variation or play my uh, setup so you can see easily i am getting a good amount of smoke but this is not a way how smoke works because they are popping if you can see my smokes are popping and at the point of dying they are popping as well so how we can fix it it's pretty uh, simple to fix it so just take a node called particle curve and we'll fix two things over here uh, as you know that each and every smoke particle will be of different color as it starts and it should getting darker and darker when it's come to their dying phase so how we can fix it just click on particle curve and just select red green and blue and as you can see we have red green and blue and we have two points so what we can do just select all and as you can see i am going to select all and i am going to downgrade it so as you can see as i am going to uh, keep it down so what's happening my particles are getting darker and darker right so might be i can do this and might be i can take a little left as well so what will happen as you can see my particles are getting few particles are getting darker and darker and few particles are bright in color so that's the way how we wanted our particle to be dark in something like that and might be i can hit uh, h on keyboard just to give some smoothness and now i can fix my particles so as you can see my particles are getting darker at the top and brighter at the bottom later on if it requires we'll fix it now also i am going to click on sphere and i'm probably i'm going to scale it little so that my area will be bigger and now as you can see i have two uh, particle system over here so what i'm going to do i i want to add some variation as well so might be i can copy this i can paste it over here and might be i can add my another particle system as you can see over here i have another input of particles so i can connect it so what will happen we will have more particle variation over here as well so i am going to click this and as you can see we are having a good amount of dense particles and dense smoke particles in fact coming from sphere right you can see but what i want i want particles to die right die or might be gradual die so how we can do that so in particle curve as well we have a option called alpha Uh, same way we have a uh, one and zero so what i can do i can i want particles to start from zero and to end at the zero and meanwhile at the center it must be on its peak so 
by holding alt and control i can add one more point over here i can select one i can select zero and might be i can pull down to zero so that what will happen my particle will start from uh, zero and it will end to zero but at the center it will be on peak so what will happen the popping won't happen and as you can see over here i have my gradual disappearance of my particles right if you want to uh, give more a darker value when it's coming to uh, this place so what i can do i can select my uh, rgb and might be i can pull it down and something like that to give some variation you you can uh, try it out at your own end might be that will work so as you can see i am going to pull little upwards and little right side not only blue i want to pull each and every particles right now it's okay for me now you can see i have my dark particles and i have my bright particles let me play one more time yeah it's starting brighter and getting darker and darker towards end but as you can see over here we don't have any variation in internal movement of particles right so how we can fix it it's pretty simple one more time so what i'm going to do i'm going to take a node called transform i need to uh, take a node called transform and in rotate i am going uh, might be i can rotate it or i can animate rotation or i can right click over here and add expression and i want to animate it per frame wise so there is a small uh, expression called frame star or into might be i can give three so what will happen my particle will or this particle will start rotating something like that but i don't want to rotate from this point so hold down control and might be i can put it on center so my particle will start rotating from center and same way i'm going over here and this time i'm going to take a transform node control shift x after shuffle i can add transform node might be i can change the orientation from this place orientate orientation and in transform i am going to on a uh, again right click and add expression and might be this time frame and this time i want to rotate it backwards so into uh, minus 5 on a different speed as well or minus 6 minus 7 whatever you want you can add it so now you can see over here my this particle is rotating clockwise and this particle is rotating anti clockwise now we will have more variation in our particle curve why it's happening because it's buffering as we animated in the uh, starting phases so as you can see over here now we have good amount of variation as you can see see we have good amount of variation as fire or smoke is starting and it's going towards end might be i can change the life max life to 30 might be it will uh, start ending at 30 or i can go to particle curve and might be i can change the size it's all up to you so as i am going to play my smoke so it's looking pretty nice isn't it we are having a good amount of internal particle uh, rotation and particle are rotating and particle are going upwards if you want to add more variation in overall rotation so what we can do before particle curve i can add another node called vortex some more variation should be there so i'm going to add vortex over here and in vortex i'm going to rotate towards my tangential so might be i can type 1 or 0.5 as i'm going to put 0.5 there is a again a great great example of uh, doing such things if you want to create something like that you can do it but i don't want in that amount so might be i can do 0 0.05 and as you can see 0 0.05 is too much so might be i can add 0 0.02 yeah some more variations are there as you can see over here so if i'm going to play it yeah we have lots of good variation and internal smoke variation is there and overall smoke variation in there my particles are starting at a brighter point and it's going darker and darker and darker when it's going upward so this is the way how we can uh, create our realistic fire lots of more things can be done like we can add some color we can add few more variations we can add more 
क्लाउड वेरिएशन और स्मोक वेरिएशन एज वेल टू मेक इट मोर रियलिस्टिक बट दिस इज द वे हाउ वी कैन डू और हाउ वी कैन एड और हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट आवर पार्टिकल सिस्टम स्मोक इन साइड न्यूक सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्रिएट लेस डेंसर पार्टिकल सो वॉट यू कैन डू Uh, we can go to particle emitter and might be we can reduce the emission rate to 15 so what will happen a uh, very uh, less amount of particle we are having and we can do some uh, directional blur as well add some directional blur to um, make it little little uh, smudgy or blurry that's totally up to you if you want to create dense fog or dense smoke might be i can type 300 so we'll have a dense smoke over here and uh, remember i am not doing any lighting kind of stuff if you want to do it go for it so this is all uh, about my particle system might be i can add 50 so hopefully you will have or you will have any some kind of idea to create smoke or realistic smoke inside nuke by using particle system and it will be very helpful to you and if you think that this video is helpful to you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is vfx vibe signing off have a good day